now finished, the hype for Battlefield 4 is winding down somewhat, but there's still some things that haven't been unturned, and so far we haven't seen a lot of focus on the vehicle combat that was available in the alpha footage that we've seen. So thanks to the guys at Pixel Enemy for finding me some vehicle customization menus to have a look at with you guys. So let's dive straight into it. Okay, so first up is the MBTs, or the main battle tanks. This is of course the US MBT, the Abrams. I'm not sure if it's a variant of the one we've seen in Battlefield 3 or if it is indeed the same one. However, yes, we are looking at the US side of things right now. Now we can already see just by looking at the screenshot without going into a huge amount of detail that in Battlefield 4 customization is going to be a big thing. We've already seen it with weapon customization. I have a video of that up on my own channel as well, so if you want to go check that out, it's in the description. But even from that, we could see that customization was huge for Battlefield 4. It was something that a lot of people complained about in Battlefield 3. They never thought there was enough options for them as a soldier or indeed as a vehicle driver either. So this looks like it's going to set the problem straight. So what we can actually see from the screenshot here is there are eight different types of customization sections that we can use on this tank. We've of course got primary and secondary weapon, our countermeasure, optics, upgrades, paint, gunner optics and the gunner upgrade. So here we're looking at both how you drive the tank and what sort of upgrades you can get for that and what upgrades you'd pick if you were in the gunner position as well. Perhaps that's something we should mention right here. As a gunner, you now have options for customization in an MBT. Okay, so going a little bit more into detail about what customization you can actually have. So focusing on the primary weapon, at this current point in this person's unlock progress, they have the 120mm AP shell, which is essentially the shell that you get in Battlefield 3, and you've got the high explosive shell as well. Now when I said at this current point in the unlock stage, we're not currently sure if there's going to be more unlocks available for these tanks the more you progress through the game. Of course we're looking at alpha footage that was only at E3, and they were using generic accounts that were just being leveled up throughout the course of E3. Moving on down to the secondary weapon, he's got coaxial LMG selected, I assume that a HMG is unlockable further down the line, as well as perhaps a guided missile or a TAU. I haven't seen a huge amount of these vehicle customization screens, only from what I've seen in the live streams and actual footage, but that's what I've seen on these tanks so far. I guess your countermeasures are going to be quite similar to Battlefield 3, but it, the whole new menu interface just makes it look easier to sort of customise the way you want to play in your tank. Again, we're moving on to something quite familiar with tanks that we've seen in Battlefield 3, and that's of course optics. You've got the uh, ability to have your normal zoom optics on there, and you also have the uh, option to now have infrared or basically thermal optics on your tank too. Now looking at the upgrades, you're looking at a lot of Battlefield 3 stuff in here as well. He has maintenance selected, proximity scan is in there as well. It's essentially the Battlefield 3 upgrade system, uh, and you're not looking at much different to be honest. However, as I've said before, the whole menu system does just look much more appealing. Now we come down to something that people wanted in Battlefield 3 but we never got, and that is tank camos. They've called it paint, but it's essentially tank camo. Now I've switched to an attack boat screen here just to show you all the different sort of uh, camos that will be available. I'm not sure if they're available right from the start of playing Battlefield 4, or whether you have to earn XP with that uh, sort of vehicle to be able to unlock these. I'm not sure of that at the moment. But there you can quite clearly see that it's about 10 or 11 different camos for your tank, and of course for your attack boat and helicopters as well well. I keep mentioning that customization is a big thing in first person shooters now. I actually did a video about it way back nearly three months ago when Battlefield 3 had only just been announced as a single player game. And uh, I mentioned then that customization is key in first person shooters. It keeps people engaged and they can play the way that they want. And it looks like EA and DICE are trying to feed you guys here with as much customization as is humanly possible. And switching back to the tanks, we're now looking at gunner optics, which is very similar to what you'd have for the driver optics, which is zoom and IRNV. And then you've got the gunner upgrades, which is essentially the upgrades that you'd have for a normal tank, but you just make sure it's different to how it would be as if you were driving, because you don't want to have the same upgrade if you were a gunner as if you were a driver. You want to make sure you've got different upgrades. Right, so moving on from the tanks, we're now going to have a look at choppers. Now I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time here simply because I'm not interested in choppers in Battlefield. I'm really more of a ground and infantry player. So I'm just going to skim right through this. But the guys who do like playing in helis, I still hope that this gives you some perspective of how you're going to be able to play in Battlefield 4. 
Again, here we have eight different customization options, primary, secondary weapon, countermeasure, upgrades, paint, gunner secondary, gunner optics, and gunner upgrade. So looking at the primary weapon here, we've got rocket pods, and you've either got hydro rocket pods or zuni rocket pods. Now I'm not really clear on what the difference is here, as I've said I don't really play in choppers, but however there's two different type of rocket pods for you guys to choose from, and there is a description for the Zuni sort of type of rocket pods, and that is slow but powerful anti-infantry rockets. Now in his secondary weapon slot he's got heat seekers, which isn't surprising considering in Battlefield 3 that's what a lot of people used, and coming down to his countermeasure he has got IR flares. So we're looking at a pretty much standard setup for this heli. I can't imagine it'd be too different to Battlefield 3, although I'd like to see a few differences just to keep people happy. And then we've got as his upgrade, he's got stealth, which of course is advisable. Keep yourself off the minimap as much as possible. Again, we're looking at the paint, and he's got one of 11 available. He's decided on hexagonal naval paint. Then we come on to the gunner side of things. We've got the gunner's secondary weapon is a guided missile, the zoom optics, and of course the upgrade is the autoloader. Now I did just kind of skate through there and I sort of said it's kind of good to see that there's still stuff there from Battlefield 3 but there's still maybe a little bit of difference to what we see in Battlefield 4. However I could probably see people being quite happy that the same things are here. Of course if you're used to flying in Battlefield 3 why change it too much in Battlefield 4? It will just make things easier for those pilots. So moving on to the last two screens, and this is the one I'm most excited for. We're looking at naval combat here and of course we're looking at the attack boats. In comparison to the other vehicles, we only have six customization options here for the boat, but however, they are quite different to what we've seen so far for the chopper and the tank. So first of all, we've got primary secondary weapon, we've got our countermeasure, optics, upgrades, and paint. And in the section of primary weapon, currently we have the 30mm high explosive round, or we've got the burst shell. So moving on to the secondary weapon, we have the ATGM, which is basically a towel launcher where you have to guide it to hit your target. And then of course we've got the anti-air missile, which is much the same as what we've seen in Battlefield 3, where you've got to maintain a constant lock-on until that missile has hit its target. Next we're looking at the countermeasure, although there's not really much we can tell. I guess IR smoke is one. We might see ECM jammer, but I doubt it. Uh, so it looks like IR smoke is the first thing we can use here. We're looking at zoom optics on this attack boat right now, but I assume based on the other vehicles that we've seen in this video already that we are going to be seeing some kind of infrared optics for it too. I think upgrades across all of these sort of vehicles will be quite similar. For me, if I am in a vehicle, I like to use a proximity scan so I know who's around me, especially because now in Battlefield 4 you can swim, and of course the recons could swim up behind you and whack a bit of C4 on there, so a proximity scanner would be quite useful. And finally, we come to paint, and this is exactly the same as it's worked with the other vehicles where you can just whack on whatever you like. As I've said, I'm not sure if you have to unlock these before you can use them, or if they're available straight away at the start, I'm not quite sure on that. So there you have it, that's your look at vehicles in Battlefield 4 and the customizations that they possess. I hope the video was detailed enough for you guys, I haven't had a huge amount to go on, literally I've just been given those screenshots and that's all I've got. I am aware there's some other footage out there about all of the vehicle customizations that are going to be in Battlefield 4, however this was the footage I was given and I'm not going to go and steal someone else's footage just for that kind of purpose. So if you want to find out a little bit more about vehicle customization, just type it into YouTube, it will come up. But anyway, that's the end of this video guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, and as I've said, links are in the description to other videos that I've spoken about in this video. And comments are always appreciated, but my name is Westy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.